what is really going on everybody this is lazy button back here playing a little bit of arc uh, today we're going to check out a couple mods i know for a fact that one of them is a work in progress it's basically proof of concept and that is the dna lab here um although i did you know bring in the admin syringe and uh, if you look inside the inventory here it does actually give you dna tube technically an artifact I don't, I don't i don't get it um but another thing i wanted to test out there's a couple things these new binoculars night vision on you got night vision tells you torpor and health now with this there is a, a long neck rifle scope i believe a fabricated sniper scope we'll get into that a little later um but yeah toggle night vision on and off tells you your direction gives you the torpor then we have this BFG. <laughs> that is the base INI damage setting for this gun. Um, there is also another mod. One second. Let me, let me get my mods pulled up here. There is another mod called Guardians of the Isle. That mod is actually created by Jeff and Stam. I'll go ahead and put descriptions down below. The BFG is actually created by Age of Darkness. Dino Labs is going to be finished by D with a bunch of underscores. <laughs> I'll put all these down, down below for you guys so you can see. And the cell mods, which is the binoculars, is Cell Andreas and Stacker. Which, I mean, we've been having problems with Super Spy Glass and all that stuff, so it's kind of nice to have something a little more techy in here. I don't know the distance they work. I figure we'll find that out. Obviously not that far away, either that or I'm being blocked by a tree or a rock. Nope, just don't work too far away. Uh, we're about 174 meters. Um... I guess you just got to be at the right angle. Anywho, um, so we can find some gods of the Isles. I want to see if you can actually take a modded dino and extract DNA without crashing the game. Yes, I forced tame this pteranodon because it's faster than an RG. Now, I don't know if any of these have spawned in. If we don't find any right away, I will be, uh, we'll be bringing a couple of them in. Uh, I know two of them are tameable, the rest of them are just killable. Bosses, they give you stuff, you put them in the workbench, we'll bring in that workbench so you guys can see what's going on in there too. But I figure instead of, uh, you know, just doing one, one mod right now, I'll go ahead and throw in a couple. And these might be things that go on our private servers, so you guys might be seeing some of the stuff in our videos to come. But I'll bring you guys right back when I find one. Oh, I just uh, wanted to bring you guys back for a second so you can see these actually do work on the back of dinos. So, I mean, you don't have to get off your dino to use it. Uh, currently, we've been using military mod on our server to find out what level the dinos are, which is great. But tell me what my pteranodon is. As you can see, you can see it. You can see, uh, see dinos. See their sword board and stuff. So, I mean, if you have tech armor, if you're that far along and you're playing modded, bring it in and, I mean, you could use it flying. So that's cool. But, again, we'll be back when I find something to tame that's modded. Okay, so we're back and I decided to just go ahead and force tame one of these dinos. This is the Dodo Wyvern. It is Eleni or Alany or whatever you want to say. Can you? Oh yes you can. Maybe. It didn't get a stat increase. The main thing is, is I want to get it back over here to 
the Dino Lab. Now I believe with this mod you have to kill the gods roaming around so you can get the stuff to make the Matrix to tame, I believe there's two tameable versions. Uh, give me a second, I'll tell you which two of those are tameable. Let's see. Alduin and the lady. Okay. So both of those are tameable via the Matrix. And the Matrix roughly cost 20 Divine Shards, 35 Souls of Shiva, 35 Souls of Uriel, 35 Souls of Revenant, 35 Souls of Rain. 35 souls of Bane and 15 or no yeah 35 souls of Tusk I believe and that is for the Matrix for Eleni the Matrix for Alduin is 20 holy shards and 15 of all the rest so I mean it's not too bad it's basically your starter your starter pigeon now one thing I do notice, you pump points and movement speed, it doesn't change it. I'm guessing that's probably a bug that'll get sorted. Can you change any stats? You probably can't change stats on this version. Oh, uh, well, change melee. I'm guessing you probably can't change stats on this version, version of the dinos because this is a force tame. I'm hoping that's the only problem but we're gonna get back to this uh, D-Day lab and I'll bring you guys back All I have to do is get this bad boy on the platform, right? That's going to be the easy part, right? It is what you think. Oh, it kind of was easy. Okay. Now let's see if this thing actually... I would like off of you, Ethan. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's see if this thing will extract some DNA. Currently, I uh, went ahead and got the scope. Obviously, the scope on the shrink rifle or on the long neck Ooh, wobbly and then I got the tier 4 darts on it there's actually a three tier trink dart system in here this is tier 4 um, I imagine I just rise and torpor as the uh, rating goes and this is the scope by itself you could actually put it on the fabricator sniper or the long neck rifle if you've already made a long neck rifle for this version you can craft it automatically comes with the scope let's, let's see if I can shoot something with it it is wobbly as piss it went down it only had 700 torpor what do you got It looks like it counts up pretty quick. I mean, it'd be, it'd probably be a really good trank rifle set for maybe vanilla. I don't know the extent of the torpor. Let's see if I can shoot my wyvern. Nope. I have PVP off, I think. Either that or just one. Let's try to extract DNA. Okay. 
We have a DNA in here. Okay, let's try to clone. Because I noticed the regular cloner does not work with the... Uh, With modern dinos. This one does, it'll be pretty epic. We might end up using this on the server. It says eight minutes. We'll uh we'll count it down. Um let's uh let's kill you off. Oh you heal too fast. Oh, okay. I must have my server healing stats way up. Um, as far as this thing in the wild, I I don't know how fast it heals. This gun doesn't fire fast enough to find out. Like you shoot around, and it you have to wait a while before you shoot another round. It's got a nice little scope. Got the tech scope on it. Ba Blam. But yeah, I'm uh, thinking about adding this BFG to the server. It is really wicked. It's, I mean, obviously, some of the dinos we have on the server could move out of the way of that fairly easily. But uh, we're gonna do it. We did it. It's a thing, it happened. <laughs> safe and uh it has an eye and eye config oh god so you can why are you being so laggy so you can basically change the damage to do whatever you want like i can make this thing do 10 million damage if i wanted to i feel i'm lagging because of the cloning that might be the problem but this mod is a work in progress so the fact that it might actually, you know, give me a dino that's modded. I mean, why would you not want that? But I'll bring you guys back when it's almost done. Alright, well, we've got two minutes left over. We're going to go over some of the stuff in this table. You get a... There's a divine shard. You have to craft holy shards, generic artifacts. There's the matrix. The high-end matrix. There's the low-end matrix. Then you have your divine weapons and armor and tools that are tier 2. And then you have your holy weapon, armor, and tools, which are tier 1. Which, all in all, is pretty cool. Um, kind of reminds me of a Dragon Ball Z table. Uh, we may check out some of that armor, actually. You know, we can see the stats right here. 1500 armor for this, 750 for that. That's not bad. Um, doesn't look like there's durability on the armor. Or the weapons for that matter. So, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. That's, uh, it costs quite a bit to craft, though, I believe. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at holy shards and 20 souls, so you're going to have to kill a lot of these guys. And then if you want to get up into the higher end stuff, you're going to have to get the divine shards, which are generic artifacts with holy shards, but... It's definitely not starter armor, but it's a lot better than your regular flak, so I mean if you just got a lightly modded server and you want to add some boss creatures around the map, this would be the perfect mod. And we're about to see if modded dinos can clone. Then after we do this, I'll go ahead and uh, possibly bring in the rest of the gods so you can see them. Or the guardians, sorry, not the gods. But the fact that you can just take DNA samples and hold them in here is pretty amazing. And they don't spoil. Now it's going to take the DNA of the level of the dino when you tamed it and the stats the dino had when you tamed it. And there we go. Now it is slightly lower level. It's 150, but... We have a tamed modded dino. We have a clone tamed modded dino. I mean, check that out. 
One day, one day you will land, and it will be good. But there you go. I mean, it works. That might be something we add to our server, because most of the dinos we have are modded, and I'm curious to see if it's going to work with some of those mods. We're going to start with Shiva. Holy crap. Holy crap, that's... I mean, I can't turn that music down. Let me turn my master volume down. Nope. Holy cow, sorry about that, that was super loud. So, you kill them, I don't know if you gotta harvest them or what, I don't know what the deal is. Um, but yeah, we got 10 souls of Shiva, and one holy shard. So I'm gonna go ahead and apologize to you again. This may be loud, I will turn it down when I get the video set up. This is gonna be Uriel. Aerial incoming. Aerial of the sky with diamonds. Let me get my hard out bloom quality back. That way they're not super bright. Um, done here. Ten souls, burial. You know, another holy shard. This BFG is amazing. All right, next we got Bane. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, so yeah. Hey, your bottom jaw is clipping through your head. Your texture may be a little messed up too. And, you know, keep going on. What is this? Torch sparkler item skin. Okay. So you get item skins, like top hat stuff. Uh, so on and so forth. You get the gist of what you get when you kill them. This one's Revenant. Guardian of the Redwoods, and this it has three artifacts on its back. They have a chance to drop artifacts. Gave me a party hat, so on and so forth. You get the gist of it. I keep going over it, but you guys know what's going on. All right, this is going to be rain next. Make it rain. Which is a Mosa. And next we have Tusk. Oh. How many are you? It's almost. Almost got a glass invisible face. It's pretty cool. Give me all of your bits. And then we have Alduin. You guys have all seen Alani or Alani or whatever it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong here. I don't mind. This is Alduin. And you will be a Dodo. Dodo Rex. And you don't have loud music, but this is another. This is the other tameable one you have to have the Matrix for. This is the beginning tameable one. We will kill, murder, death you right now. 
Or maybe have this. Can I not kill you? Oh god. You just move out the way, man. You stupid. Yeah, stupid. Hate your face. Yeah, you die now. You did. You die now. All right. So we pretty much got to see the guardians, guardians of the island. And as you can see, you get little party house and trinkets from them. But you gotta kill a good amount of these things to actually get all the the materials you need to craft everything. Um, BFG, like I said, you can change anything you want on it, damage-wise. Uh, you could even change the radius so it's like a nuke. You, <laughs> I would imagine it would crash the server, though. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a fabricated sniper rifle real quick. And we're gonna put a scope on it. Primitive fabricated sniper rifle. Let's throw that down here on the bar. Oh. Scope. Blam. Because you know normally these things don't tell you anything. But you put the scope on there and now you can actually see the health and the torpor, face damage, and what it eats. Or I guess what you tame it with. Actually, hold on. That is a thing. Nope. Diet carnivore. It basically tells you what it eats, but it doesn't you know, give you a... It doesn't give you a good good idea of kibble or anything. That would be really cool if they had a spike glass that was like, hey, this is what kibble it takes, even though most of us know what kibble it takes. So we found out the DNA lab, at least on single player, can clone modded dinos. And we found out the scope set and spyglass or binoculars is actually a really good mod. It uh it deserves a lot of attention. Tells you herbivore, base damage 62, so that means it's gonna hit me for probably 62. And we see the, the joys of the guardians. I mean they're not super overpowered creatures, I guess it depends on the levels, level cap you have on your surfer. Is how how hard they're gonna be to kill. But imagine, you know, they scale up pretty well. And then we have the BFG. We cannot forget about this BFG. So, I mean, if you guys liked any of these mods, you'll be able to find their links and authors down in the description. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check them out. Because, I mean, if, even if you're just playing single player, they are definitely fun to mess around with. Um, I'm, I, I foresee at least two of these mods making it to the server. Maybe not the BFG. I don't know. But I definitely want the binoculars. And I definitely want the DNA lab just to test and see if it works on a multiplayer server environment. But if you guys liked the video, I want you to go ahead and splat that like button for me because it helps out more than you know. And the more you like, the more it gets shared with everybody else and spreads around like, I guess, YouTube herpes. I don't know. Anywho. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. You take care, and take it easy. Bye-bye.